What's up guys? Nice to see you on my channel. Hope you're doing well. And today we are talking about this little guy. That is Mavic Mini. And I can say it, I'm using this drone already for two months and I think I already have a small feedback for you about how this drone is performed, what is pros and cons of this drone. And yeah, small features which can be useful for you if you decide to buy such small thing like drone Mavic Mini. So let's get started. <laughs> So, and first thing which we should discuss is the price. Price from this thing is quite amazing. That means it's 400 bucks for the drone where you have practically everything. And that is for Fly More Combo Kit, where you have already included three batteries, remote, and the drone. So I think that is pretty useful and also the case. Sorry, forgot about the case, totally. That is was big plus for this drone. Next one, let's talk a little bit about how this uh, drone performs. That means how good is the picture. So I create for you a couple examples. That means I use this drone for already two months. I take this drone with me to Austria and Munich and to Norway. And you saw already a couple examples of the pictures, but like you see right now on the screen, uh, there is a couple more examples and I can say that picture from this drone quite amazing. It's a little bit too crispy I can say it in some situations but still like drone for 400 bucks performing really 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 well and that is great benefits. It's using 2.7k to create the best picture quality but a lot of people using 1080p because it's more than enough. From my perspective it's better to use 2.7k because it's bringing you more uh, more bonuses when you're using this drone one thing which i really don't like it in this drone is that you need to control your iso that mean directly on the drone that mean it's not trying to adapt this to different like environments you need to control it by yourself that mean you need to go manually and increase light and decrease light if it's needed so in some situation it can create some issues for you because you need to spend more time on configuring your drone for the flight. Second one, I think that is already minus of this drone, that is the signal. That means I use this drone in Austria, I use this drone in Norway. In Norway there was no issues at all with the signal because there was not a lot of people outside and it was a little bit cold. But let's say it right now when I try to use this in Austria or I try to use in Munich, it's take me more time to create like nice cinematic picture because I losing signal quite often. That means it's using a little bit different way to communicate with a drone. That means when you're using your joystick and trying to communicate with drone, it's using in a little bit different way. Comparing with the same like, I don't know, Mavic Pro 2, which is quite an issue sometimes, but I can say that is minor issue and if uh, let's say it, it not happens quite quite often but still it can be the issue in some situations but for me it was only problem when I was in really crowded places that mean where was a lot of icing phones or wireless devices which can interrupt the signal uh, to your drone but that was like not the biggest issue I can say it so far so that is one of the minuses of this drone one more plus of this drone and I can say that is second plus of this drone that is fly time because this drone can fly like 25 minutes that is pretty good result because Mavic Pro 2 like example can spend in the air with one battery just 20 minutes 22 minutes this drone easily can take 25 uh, maybe practically to 30 minutes but when it's going already with the lower power on the battery it can have some problems with communication and interrupting the signal so it's better to return drone uh, home with a 15% or 20% of the battery back uh, to the base so just to make sure that you not lose the drone because again it's quite light and it creates some issues like example when drone have a heavy wind on top that mean it's really hard for him to control himself that mean he's spending more power to keep the position and I can say that sometimes it can kill your battery much more faster but that is only in situation when you have a really windy weather so that is uh, regarding power and uh, regarding battery life I think it's quite important for you to know and what about the benefits of how portable this thing I can say this drone is really portable it's really small what I not can say the same about the case which going together with 
Mavic Mini because it's huge. It means it's including power bank for free batteries, let's say it, joystick and drone. But case looks huge. It means such small drone, if you take a look, drone is really small compared with this case. And you're expecting that case will be really portable. And that has created for me some issues when I try to take this drone with me to Munich. That means how to find the space for such big case. So I figure out that I bought my own case for the drone. It's really small where I can put the joystick and drone and it's more than enough. Battery I can put separately and I not need to use this hard case. But that is also a good option if you're just using the drone to move it somewhere. That means just with the case if you're in home location I can say that is really good. But if you're trying to travel with this thing it's taking a lot of space and I highly recommend you to take a look on other cases for Mavic Mini. Maybe they will produce soon some new case for this drone and then you can buy it already separately from the kit. But yeah, so far that is one of the issue which I saw. And I think in the end I give you one more hint about this drone uh, regarding framework updates. I have a couple issues already with this drone. That means previously all updates go really smoothly with the iPhone updates. That means I just install a framework through the up in the on the iPhone but last time when I have like uh, trying to create some footage for you for this video there was a problem because it's every time it say like on 55% it say it cannot update update failed or something like that 5004 error and there was a problem to update this drone from the phone so but there is the easiest solution you just go home connect this to your laptop and updating with DJI assistant that is working really well and it it's really fast. Together with that one you need to update framework of the battery because sometimes where you see just two dots on your power bank that is can happen that means your battery have an old framework and you need to update it also so sometimes it creates some issues with updates but updates becoming to try to create your life a little bit easier trying to improve already hardware which you have so I think it's a it's a big benefit, it just was an issue to update this from the phone but after that when you figure out how it's working with the laptop it's pretty easy and normally I'm doing this one before I go in summer, before I'm going in the field just to make sure that I don't need to wait until drone update their framework so that is a pretty good so far I'm really happy from this purchase I can say because it's 249 grams so that is pretty light drone and like example in Canada you not need a license to fly this drone that is pretty big benefit so far and in other cities it's also a really compact drone and nobody sees it when it's in the air so that is let's say it give you opportunity to make some footage where others drones like Phantom 4 or I don't know Mavic Pro 2 like example cannot fly because it will be visible it will be really loud so this drone is really quiet and I can say it's really portable and can go in the places where other drones will be quite visible and they will be disturbing other people. So that is, I can say, my pluses and minuses when I use this drone. Example of the footage like you saw right now, it looks pretty good but sometimes it's a little bit crispy, that is what I said before. So that is uh, one point to consider when you buy this drone. And again, you need to control the light by yourself, that means bring it up, bring it down. That is also you need to adapt to environment like example if you have a sunny weather and after like some time sun just disappeared it's too dark for the drone and you need to bring your light I saw like example a little bit higher just to make sure that picture will be enough to see everything on on frames it means that is that is one thing which I can say so far and yeah case I highly recommend you if you will be traveling with this drone to buy your own case for that one I bought this small bag where I can put the drone together with the joystick and it's much more small compared with the real box so you see the size and it's much more compact so I recommend you to buy something by yourself if you will be traveling because unfortunately case is too big and I can say the power bank with the two batteries or three batteries you can put like separately from the drone but later you can pick up it from the bag but drone together with joystick you can put in one bag like that one so that is my recommendation so guys I hope this video was pretty useful for you I try to explain you as much as I can about these drones that mean what is pros and cons so just to summarize first price is really good 
picture for 400 bucks it's amazing 2.7k i can say that is the quality which you need to use to record the videos uh, and of course weights it's 249 grams and i think that is quite good uh light weights which let's say it give you some opportunities but it sometimes also gives some minuses when you like example it's really windy weather it's really hard for the drone to keep the position but it's doing a great job regarding that one you just get a lot of uh, warnings on your screen so that is i can say it so far and minuses that is if you buy and fly more combo that is too big case for such small drone it's not portable case and maybe I will take I will take two minuses that you need to control light by yourself that means it's not automatic one so that is only one or two issues which I have so far updates it's uh, I think it's temporary issue and it's possible to resolve so I hope this video was really useful for you and yeah subscribe on my Twitter Instagram whatever you will find in the description I put the link on the drone in the description so you can check it out and of course see you in the next video already pretty soon take care guys Bye!